I have the huge pleasure of introducing our next speaker and presenter, Mr. Wilhelm Moharn. And I understand he has a new technology, but his passion's been ongoing, 27 years in development. So at this time, it's my pleasure to present Wilhelm. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm from Austria, so please excuse my English. Maybe I'm sometimes speak a little in Austrian English, right? So excuse me that. Thank you. So I will start with a very, very, very interesting uh, quote from the NASA. Maybe you know it, maybe not. The zero-point energy is a potentially in exhaustible sea of invisible and utmost powerful energy. Welcome. We are in the mainstream. You realize that? This is NASA saying. Yeah? So, and I will begin with a movie, with a practical movie, so that you can see what we are doing. Maybe if you have some questions after the movie, can a little go into the questions and then I continue with the slideshows, okay? Good. So enjoy it. Thank you. Masonry moisture in old houses. Old buildings frequently have the unwanted accompanying aspect of moisture in their walls, which causes increasing damage over the years. The unpleasant accompanying aspect is referred to as rising ground moisture. In the graphic diagram you see how ground moisture is rising. It's a nearly invisible phenomenon. It becomes visible in higher portions of the wall due to the damaged plaster. The results are damage of paint, water stains, salt efflorescence and plaster flacking on the facade of the house. By the interaction of complex chemical and physical forces acting on this masonry, it will be slowly but surely destroyed. Basic data. From building physics we know that water is absorbed from building materials like a sponge. This effect is referred to as the capillary effect. If we put two materials of different porosity into a water bowl, we will observe the following. Building materials with larger pores absorb more, while those with smaller pores absorb less. The thinner these pores are, the more capillary they have, the higher the water rises. In old masonry that lacks a horizontal moisture barrier or there it is partly rotten, ground moisture rises into masonry. Ground moisture in the capillaries of masonry rises to a point where it oozes out as water vapor at the so-called evaporation zone. This results in the capillary heads in masonry which grows a little every year. It may be manifested as annual rings caused by different degrees of salt efflorescence. Moisture penetrates the ground due to precipitation, dew or groundwater. It then enters the foundation of masonry where it rises and evaporates, mainly in higher portions of the wall. The greater the quantity of moisture, the larger is the amount of evaporation at the evaporation zone. As a result, salts that damage the basic structure of a building enter the masonry from the ground. The salts rise in a dissolved in water condition into the capillaries of masonry and are deposited in the evaporation zone in higher layers of masonry, especially in the pores of the plaster. The salts of building materials are also dissolved by the moisture stream, rise and additionally enter the pores of the plaster. Due to such evaporation, most salts are deposited in air pores, which are crucial for the regulation of the atmosphere in the room and clog the pores. 
the breathability of the plaster is thus reduced. In conventional plasters, salts usually rise to a visible plaster surface when they crystallize. The pressure of such crystallization and other chemical and physical mechanisms eventually destroy the plaster. In so-called renovation plasters, the aggressive salts are deposited in the lowest layer of plaster. The salts clog these pores and the plaster becomes waterproof. This makes the capillary head rise even higher and destroy further layers of plaster and wall. As wet masonry permits heat to flow out more easily than the dry masonry, the heat insulation of the building worsens. This means the following for you. Much higher heating costs in the winter. The magnetophysical drying out process. Water has special properties. We get many interesting phenomena when energy influences water. For instance, when you rub a wool scarf against a plastic tube, you create an electrostatic energy field. Did you know that even this small energy field can deflect a 2 mm thin thread of water? Certain energy forms can direct water molecules. Observation showed that a similar situation occurs with the magnetophysical high-tech procedure of Aquapole. The exact mechanism of action are still being investigated. An aquapole system was installed in the building. It covers the entire area of the building. This patented high-tech system, which is placed in a special case, you see some bigger models here, performs two basic functions. It dries out masonry with specific energy waves and also keeps it dry. This explains the word magnetokinesis, which we coined for the first time in 1988. Waves similar to electromagnetic ones cause motion or kinesis. In this case, it is the movement of rising capillary moisture. The energy wave structures apparently play a role in nature and in the cosmos in cases of spiral phenomena. Mr. Mohan was awarded an honorary prize by the Ministry of Science for researching these energy wave structures on behalf of Aquapool Company. The Aquapool system causes no electrosmog because it does not require any electrical connection or batteries. According to a hypothesis of the inventor and patent holder Mr. Wilhelm Mohan, the futuristic internal structure of the Aquapool system is a novel generator with an innovative mode of energy supply. Its components are reminiscent of those of the long forgotten but ingenious inventor Nikola Tesla, who laid the foundation for the worldwide introduction of the three phase alternating current. For his basic functional research and successful implementation of these principles to dry out walls, Mr. Mohan was awarded the Kaplan Medaille, the highest award for researchers and inventors in Austria. Anthropol Company developed complex and innovative high-tech measurement procedures for the production and quality control of the Anthropol systems. These guarantee high quality and 100% functionality in the long term. The phases of drying out. The magnetokinetic process of drying out walls takes place in two overlapping phases. The period in which wall moisture evaporates in upper portion of the wall is known as the evaporation phase. However, a large part of the moisture moves back downward into the ground due to the waves produced by the device. We refer to this period of drying as the dehumidification phase. During the drying out process in the evaporation phase, the salts dissolved in water are transported to the plaster zone, where they partly crystallize because of the evaporation process. The evaporation process, along with the crucial process of partial desalination, usually takes 3 to 12 months. This was confirmed by exact salt measurements in an expert report based on a major project in Germany. 
the less salts there are in the basic structure of the building, the less is the residual moisture in the wall. However, a large part of the masonry moisture moves back in the ground through the capillary system in the wall, which is the actual phase of dehumidification. What remains is the chemically bound residual moisture in masonry. The external climates might play a major role when walls contain a lot of salt. This is why we occasionally encounter moisture variations due to climatic factors, although the wall will have achieved its level of residual moisture. If the wall merely needs a new coat of paint, it should be painted after the evaporation phase. According to the ÖNORM, Austrian standard, and according to our long years of practical experience, the actual plaster renovation should be performed only after the wall has been dried. One thus avoids migration of the salts into the new plaster and consequent undesirable chemical reaction. When the salt content of the old plaster is too high, moisture spots will appear on the surface. Their intensity depends on the level of humidity. As we know, salts have hygroscopic properties in that they strongly attract moisture. Building analysis by the salesman. Every building is analyzed in regard of its moisture damage by a trained Atopol salesman who uses a moisture diagnosis device for this purpose. All essential data are noted on the building analysis checklist. When one encounters symptoms of rising moisture, the Aquapol device can help to remedy the situation. The degree of rising ground moisture is of no major importance. Even a small quantity of rising moisture is enough to cause moisture damage in the long term. Other causes of moisture are also revealed, provided they can be discovered visually or registered on our measurement device. These causes can then be eliminated in combination with other measures or techniques. Placing the order, installation, efficacy test and service. Once the client agrees to place the order with the salesman, an appointment is made for the installation. Before the installation, the technician performs diagnostic investigations of masonry using the appropriate measuring devices. He determines capillary heads for the entire building and draws a capillary head diagram. Geological influences on masonry moisture and other important details are noted on the plan. Moisture measurements are carried out according to the scientifically accepted style method at places determined in agreement with the client. This laboratory measuring device guarantees highest precision, fast determination on moisture content on site and maximum objectivity for the client and the results are noted in the measurement report. Climate data from the outside and the inside as well as the degree of salinization of plaster and masonry are recorded. Diagnostic investigations of masonry provide further information about the condition of walls. Any accompanying measures that may be required are then discussed with the client. Accompanying measures may be needed to prevent local hindrances to the drying out procedure. Such measures include the repair of the roof water runoff system, removal of moisture blocking layers or layers containing excessive salt. We also discuss ventilation habits in order to reduce or prevent condensation water. The location for the device is determined on the basis of local data and specific measurements. The Aquapole device is then installed. The 
The Antipole efficacy test is carried out in a standard way. With this test, we can verify the direct effect of the Antipole system and render it visible for our clients even in most remote portions of masonry. Depending on the agreement with the client, Atapol monitors the drying out process at regular intervals and advises the client as regards accompanying measures and appropriate renovation procedures. This is done on site by the technician or via telephone by our technical department. Rooms with high level of humidity, such as bathrooms, kitchens, bedrooms, cellars, or rooms with cold walls, may occasionally reveal condensation moisture on the wall surface in addition to rising moisture. When this turns into a permanent condition, the masonry behind becomes even moisture. Apple offers solutions for this problem as well. Apple References Antipole's list of references includes buildings of very different sizes and building materials. The Antipole system is suitable for clay, brick, mixed brickwork and porous stone masonry. Numerous farms, single-family houses, apartment houses, schools and public buildings have been dried out most effectively by the Antipole system without cutting into walls and without chemical substances. Sometimes none or very little accompanying measures, such as the removal of old plaster, are needed to free a building from rising moisture. Even larger buildings can be dried at a reasonable price with this intelligent technology. Former that cellars can be used again. A large number of listed buildings can be freed from destructive rising moisture. The environment-friendly Alphapole system will keep the building dry for decades because these high-tech systems contain no electronic raw parts and supply their own cost-free energy. This revolutionary technology saves valuable cultural assets and frescoes. With the Antipole device installed in the Parliament of Budapest in 1991, one wing of the building could be completely dried out in just one year. Thus, Antipole is the fastest system of this kind. The innovative character and the many positive properties and side effects of the Alcopole system explain the large number of international prices and favorable expert opinions the company has received. This level of recognition is unparalleled in this sector of alternative methods of drying out walls. You may request further information material directly at Antipol International or from the Antipol branches in your country. The Antipol salesman in your vicinity will be glad to advise you about the possibilities of installing an Antipol device in your building. Please find more details in the attached card. Simply give us a call or write us. So, you like it? Have some idea what you are doing? So it's not only the system, it's not only the aquapole unit. There is, it's a very important part, but you have surround this unit a lot of knowledge which you, which you need when you, have, when you want to be successful. You should realize that. Good. Okay. So my next part will be Introduction in the manifestations of space energy and on practical application. Just give you some idea which I found out 1991 and 92. This was my, my very, very strong, strong years in my life, you can, you can imagine, where I 
found out a lot of things and want to want to I want to understand my system basically because 19, 1985 or 1983 when I start with the first uh, prototype I don't understand it really yeah I just make it and then make some measurements and okay well sometimes it was a vision and then but it was not I know in my heart it was not it was not fully covered up and also not in the physics yeah so and 90 1991, I start really with the with the research. So, and this is the working hypothesis: <clears throat> the manifestation of space energy. There is a night quote. In my opinion, every everything must be based on a very simple idea. And in my opinion, this idea will 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 if it if 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 we finally have discovered be so enforcing and beautiful that we will say to each other, yes. How could it be elsewhere? So this is my attitude. When I did, when I did my, res, my, my researching, I was sure the answers should be not complex or, or difficult. There should be easy answers to everything. With this attitude, I do my research. If it gets too complicated, is it? no. The nature is not complicated. The nature is easy. The cosmic, the cosmic laws are basically easy if you, when you really understand it. Okay, this was my attitude when I started this research. So I say, okay, what's space energy? Is it existing in every space? This is the reason why we call it space energy. Yeah, or it has no mass. It penetrates any matter without direction. It comes from every direction. Extremely ultra high frequent and faster than light. So here is just, just a drawing to, to get the, the connections between this free cosmic space energy and other energy forms and the matter. There are some correlations. So we check a little, go in, a little in, into matter. So we know that our planet are expanding every year. In the diameter, about 10 to 20 centimeters. The scientists are not really, they are not sure, you know, they, are, they are fighting about that. But the Earth is expanding 10, 20 centimeters a year. This is a lot of tons of mass, of matter, which comes more and more and more. So why? The question is very easy. When, when a free energy interacts with matter. It's changing also a little of this free energy into matter. This is, this is just a change. A very peaceful, very, very, very peaceful one. Very well, well. So, and there is a, there was a very wise movie in, um, in the European, in the German, <coughs> in the German era from Franz Fitzke, on Sie bewegt sich doch, as a documentary movie where it shows very good what happened. So, there was also a very, a very nice guy, he's uh, Hans Heinrich Lendold, 1893. He makes an experiment and he also uh, shows that there is a meta grow. Yeah? And um, a Dr. Klaus Volkhammer, in German, he's, he's still living. He did the same experiments with very, very high um, instruments, very, very high measurement instruments, and he acknowledged that. So, there is meta grow, is a manifestation of space energy. You have a lot of phenomena in the nature. Increase of energy are phenomena in the, in the nature, right? You have these lighting phenomena, right? You have uh, these phenomena of water hoses. Just remember, a water hose uh, has tons, uh, tons of water. It is very, very heavy yeah, to, to, push that, to push that up. You need a lot of energy to get this condition, a lot, yeah? So, okay, but it is a phenomena in the nature. It is increase of energy, so there comes some free energy into in the resonance behavior, and you have it. Or tornadoes. You are a lot of Americans here, right? Hmm? So you know tornadoes. In, in Europe, we don't have tornadoes, but I think in America it's well known. So this is also a phenomena in the nature which increase, with a lot of increase of uh, 
energy from this from the space energy. They get some energy from the space. So, what's the next? Okay, we look at the gravity. Gravity of the Earth. So, if you think, if you're matching, that from every side, this energy, free energy, come do the Earth, right? We, we make a figure. We make just a figure. We make 1,000 units. It's just a figure. These 1,000 units on the right side, coming penetrates the planet and coming out maybe with 994. On the other side, the same situation. 1,000 units in, 994 out. It's just a figure to, to, to get an idea. So there is missing now this difference, these six energy units. And this difference is the gravity. It's the drive of the Earth, right? It's the pressure. So this is a part of uh, a manifestation of space energy. You know that? You, you have heard about this theory? I think so, huh? some, some of you. Huh? Exactly, yeah, for instance. So then we come to another point. So this was gravitation. We come now to... Okay, they are missing some pictures. <laughs> Hey, technician! <laughs> They're missing some pictures. You don't know why? Okay. I've, I will show you this is uh, several kinds of polarization, uh, polarizations of waves. You have the left circular polarization wave, you have a linear polarization wave, and you have the right circular polarization wave. Sorry, there is missing something. So I want to show you. If you have an electromagnetic wave, it is combined of two components. You have the, for instance, the electric component, and then you have the magnetic component. Okay? So these two components are always together. Yeah? This is Maxwell. This found out Maxwell in the 1800s, blah, blah, blah. Yeah? So the new idea is how, or the, the question was what, what, what is space energy? Uh, Co uh, connected with these electromagnetic waves. What are the, the interaction of it? You just can imagine the what's that, uh, axis, Ausbreitungsachse, axis. On the axis, just on the axis of this electromagnetic wave, you imagine there are the space energy. So the space energy had the function of carrying of a carrying wave in electromagnetic. Yeah. This is the new idea. Yeah. So, and then we come to another, then we come it's now to another, uh, to another kind of, of antennas which I'm using in my generator since 19, uh, 1985 and, and then uh, 1982. I, uh, 92. And you have different kinds of, um, of antennas, of, um, of aerials. You have for the gravitational from the gravitative level, you have this a flat spiral spoke coil. It's flat, like Tesla did, but it's similar. It's not the same. It's not a Tesla coil, yeah? but it's it's similar. And then you have on the magnetic level, you can receive this energy, this gravo, this gravo magnetic energy, which I will show you afterwards, with magnetic coils. Yeah. So you have two levels. When you have an electromagnetic wave, you can also receive these electromagnetic waves two different kinds of, uh, of levels. You can receive it with this antenna, Stabantenne, what is the name? Stabantenne? With this antenna? Radio, uh, radio antenna? Or you, can, or you can go into, in the magnetic level, with a magnetic uh, 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 coil. So you, can, you have two ways to to receive this electromagnetic energy. So, and that is simple with this gravimagnetic energy. So this kind of gravimagnetic energy, I will, I will show you, I will explain you. This gravimagnetic energy is a spiral wave. This is the magnetic wave, the spiral wave. You can, you can see it, yeah? And on this spiral, on this magnetic wave, the turning around a gravity, a, the gravity wave. You understand? Not in the middle, not in the, in the axe. 
It's turn around on the magnetic. You understand what I mean? You, 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 yeah, it's, it, it, is, it is circulated. This is also circulation. Yeah, circulation, circulation, circulation. It's all circulated. Yeah? But it's not known in the physics. It's not known in the physics. This was a research. When, when I did the research of my two antennas, when I, I did the structure research, how could... Look, this, this, this wave that, that I'm using. Yeah? And this was the result. And for this result, I get also awarded. So, and then when you imagine this kind of, of energy, this kind of waves, which is like this spiral, uh, uh, um, uh, this, this function then you can imagine that this also can cause like spiral galaxies. So I think that the spiral galaxy is a product of gravimagnetic energy because there is a spiral there. Or you have these very funny water whirlpool anomalies. Maybe you, you receive it, you, you see it in your home, that sometimes the water runs up right, right side, sometimes the water runs up left side, on, our, on the half on our planet, it's not normal. It should be normally on the left side because of the, of the Coriolis power, of the Coriolis force, physical Coriolis force. But it's not. Yeah? We found a lot of locations in Austria where the water runs up right and the water runs up left and sometimes the water runs up right and then two minutes later left. Huh? What's that? Which kind of force is there to, to, change, to, change this, to change this movement. There, 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 have, there, there should be a force. That, otherwise, it's not possible, right? So, and uh, when you... And here's another example, this swivel growth of trees. You have seen that in the nature, some of you? Yeah? So, uh, why? Why he did that? Or why he did the other way? So when you do a measurement on that point, you will find there is this energy, this gravimagnetic energy from the Earth, there is right polar side or it is left polar side. So there is a force, there is a physical force who gives this spiral in the trees. This is a very interesting thing. This is not like, hmm, yeah? Okay? It's about a, it's an example. So, ah, good, this is, this is my hope. We have some graphics on that. So now I show you what, what, how this gravimagnetic geo, gravimagnetic field is, is uh, how it works, how it comes to. Phase one, you have R, free energy come into the planet. You have these different kinds of um, of layers A to D, uh, which get penetrated from any direction by this free energy. Right? Or space energy, I call it zero point energy, or whatever you want. So, this is step one, phase one. Phase two, it comes to the core on the left side, it comes to the core and going through the core. And my theory is that the core of the Earth is not nickel or iron, it is hydrogen. It is hydrogen. I'm very sure. I was not there. But, <laughs> but I'm very sure. I have a lot of, for me, a lot of evidences. Yeah? Hydrogen. Yes, molecule. On a molecule, hydrogen. So, and this free energy, you see these yellow waves, goes through the core and changes in another kind of energy. Now here, in a, in a gravimagnetic energy. You see it on the white, on the white waves, Okay. So, you come to this point, and with the gravimagnetic energy, with uh, the, the core matter specific frequency, because every matter had its own frequency. You can check it. So, the next thing is, it going to the others, to the, to the other layers, and the, the reduction, there is a reduction of this field, because matter is a resistance to every kind of, of fields, basically. Yeah? So they get a reduction, but come out here, you see that on the point, with a very small signal, but it's still there. And then you have it all over the world. 
So I say this, I say this because I'm in Europe. I, now we are also in South Africa, so on the other hemisphere. It's working also in South Africa. <laughs> it's not only working in Europe. <laughs> so and I'm very sure that this is all over the world. Okay? So then you have this phase that, that, that um, basically you can say now, this geogravomagnetism is a manifestation of space energy. Yeah? Because then you have a lot of materials, a lot of, of, uh, of different materials, then you have also a lot of frequencies. So there are, there are existing a gravomagnetic field with a lot of different frequencies, the bands of the content of the planet. Yeah? Okay? So, this is that. Oh, sorry for that. So, now we come to the archibald system. Now this is the specific, the very, very specific application. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. 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 This is the only the only what you can be measurable is with a how you say root a root you know the same the root rod rod is a rod so it's a it's a biophysical instrument yeah it's the first thing the second thing is the antenna my antenna are totally constructed on this on this wavelength they are, they, are, they they does not work in other wavelength. They are totally, um, how you say? Um, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It goes just in this frequency uh, in resonance. This is the reason why I know it. Vision. It's a vision. Was a vision, and then I do it and check it, and then <coughs> it works. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is the unit. I show you now. This is the top secret. Dum da dum. Dum da dum. Yeah. So this is I call it the turbo. This is the turbo, the turbo unit because with this turbo unit, I can try out a building with about two thousand square meters. Yeah, you can make pictures afterwards. It's no problem. You can make pictures afterwards. So you, you're matching. Can, can you imagine? 2,000 square meters. You have in a building, in a wall, you have sometimes in one cubic meter 600 liters of water. Can you imagine that? Which kind, how many tons of water this little thing here, this very little tiny turbo baby here, yeah, turn the moisture around and, and move it down in one or two years, sometimes three years, okay. Sometimes when the moisture is very high, it takes more than, than, than two or three years. But can you imagine that? There are tons of moisture, tons. It's not kilos, not pounds. You're speaking of tons. So there is a lot of work which this guy are doing here with free energy. And the most of that with free energy. Yeah, question. And you say it is too, too high. Yeah. Water. Only water. Yeah, but the difference... <laughs> yeah. Look, the difference be be between you and the wall is that you are dynamic. You are, you are spiritual. You are, it's life. It's life. There is, there is a big difference between you, the body, the capillary system, between you and from the wall. Because the, the, the moisture in the wall is static. There is static phenomena. I mean, a little dynamic phenomena. One centimeter per day, they're going up. Maybe two, three centimeters. Maybe in your heart, when you, there is kilometers. They make kilometers... Uh, Per day, <laughs> you understand? There is a difference because you are a mental being. You are a, a beingness. You have a mental beingness, and you have your your own your own field. 
Yes, the aura, we call it aura, you know it. And there is a big difference. You should mention it's even the opposite. Many people keep the aura yeah. even after having yeah. tried to because they feel a positive effect. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I tell it very shortly. This this system, this system, yeah. This system had also a very biological positive effect because, um, you know, I don't know the English name of Earth rays, also these Erdstrahlen, these so called Erdstrahlen. A geopathogenic zone, you, you understand what the geto geopathogenic zone is? You understand it? Yeah? Okay, so this system with this field, with this uh, kind of, of hydrogen field, uh, um, Uh, dämpfen, dämpfen, uh, pressure, pressure, or, or move down, or diminish. So reduce, or reduce, reduce these geopathogenic zones. Not 100%, but reduce it very high, in a very, very high percentages. And we get a lot of success stories from, 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 from customers which are stating, hey, we are sleeping better. Hey, we, we, we don't have that. We, we, we feel better, we, the headache is, is less, or whatever it is. Yeah? There's a lot of things in this direction. But I don't want to go too much into it because this is, this is a, healthy, it's a healthy thing. So we are, now in the physical, we are now in the physical thing, right? I think it's more interesting the physical thing, right? Or not? A little more, huh? <laughs> okay, good. So, so as you look at here, yeah, you have one is the receiving unit. So this receiving unit is basically, it's a spiral. It's a spiral system, a very special spiral system which is, which is totally uh, um, selected of this uh, frequency of, uh, of hydrogen. Yeah? So this receives my energy from the Earth, this gravimagnetic energy from the Earth. So second is the polarization unit. What means that? This energy with this receiving Going to, this, going to this polarization unit and get polarized. That means it gets right polarized to use it for dehydration. I can do also the opposite way. I build it up left and I can, I can also polarize it left, polarized, and then we have a hydration. Because we make an experience in the in agra in agra fields agri agricultural fields we make for a lot of years ago we made a, a diplom work diplom about diplom work yeah and it uh, it is acknowledged that the system could also be heat rate when you build it the other way <laughs> yeah yeah exactly Yeah, makes the moisture rising up, not But down, does up. It pull it up or does it the I don't know exactly. <laughs> I just know, I just see they get more moisture up or more moisture down. That's it. I don't know exactly the, the mechanism. Yeah, it's not, fully, it's not fully researched. So, and then you have three. This is the sending unit. That, that means this unit here is sending out this field, this polarized field in the environment, on the wall or whatever. Yeah? So, and all together is, all together is a generator because from, from up, free energy comes into and helps that the system get more effective. So, And we just use this energy. This is very important. We just use this hydrogen, gravimagnetic energy with hydrogen frequency. It's very important that you know that. It's not electromagnetic. Because we did a lot of research, a lot of measurement. There is not electromagnetic. The system is also shielded with an aluminum gehäuse. 30 cage, yeah, with, uh, with aluminium, building up as aluminium. There's no electromagnetic energy can go into. We don't need that electrosmog. We don't need that electromagnetic waves. They could work with electromagnetic, but not really good because they're, they're fitting not together. Yeah? If some guy, some guy from, from, from electro engineering see that and uh, broadcasting engineering, he see that and say, hey, come on, 
This cannot work because this is something you have to do with high frequency. This is, this is a lower frequency. This fitting not together. No, it does not work. <laughs> yeah, why? Why he say that? Because he just know the electromagnetic basics. He don't know the gravimagnetic basics, which I found out in 1991 or 92. There's a new, new kind of physics. There's a, a part of physics which is missing in the physics. You understand? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so first pin, energy up. Then the working, the, the working area get polarized. You have it in the green field, but this green field would be very small because if you just have this energy from the bottom, you have you have no 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 very funny output. But in the reality, is that so? See, you get a very, very much bigger volume of output. It's 10,000 times bigger than the space of the input. 10,000 times bigger and more. It depends on, the, of some, on some circumstances. So why is it? If you check with a physician, he said, no, that's not possible. Because where is the energy who make it... Uh, ten, ten times or hundred times more. What, what, what's going on here? Where is the energy balance? So the only answer is that comes from from above. And we did an experiment and we measured that. 1991. There is, from above, there comes this energy in this, like, in this funnel. It's a funnel, right? This is a funnel. It's a funnel. This funnel phenomena you see very, very often in the nature. Very, very often. This open funnel phenomena. And this is the funnel for free energy. <laughs> then we are in the vortexes and everything. You, you see so much funnel phenomena. So, and this is why it works. So, without that, it cannot work. It's impossible. Physical. Impossible. Yeah? You, you know this movie, Drive? Yeah. I think a lot of you, right? So he also showed this very funny thing here, this uh, geometrical, how is it? Geometrical form? Toros, toros. Yeah, toroid, toroid, yeah. You have the same thing. You have this funnel up and down. Yeah? It's very simple with, with my system. Very simple. I also have like a torus. It's not, not so symmetric like this. But it's very simple. So, and you know, I don't want to speak about it. I think I will end with this quote from him. If this new technologies for energy would be re revealed worldwide, there would be major changes. It would affect everybody. It can be applied everywhere. These technologies are the utmost important that takes place in the history of this planet. Dr. Brian O'Leary. And we ending with that point. The zero point energy is the potential inexhaustible sea of invisible and utmost power energy. NASA. So just we have to use it. It's waiting for us. We have to use it. Thank you very much for your intention. And I hope you understand my Austrian English. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.